Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Today we're taking a look at uh, some of the basic rules for calculating derivatives. Uh, this video we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, the rules for calculating the derivatives of exponential functions. Now, the exponential function, uh, a thorough definition and uh, proof of these rules can be found um, in some of our other videos, uh, lecture videos from the Differential Calculus book. Um, the proofs and rules can also be found uh, in the Differential Calculus book itself. Uh, so for a more extensive review of exponential functions, please uh, refer to uh, our expon exponential functions lecture videos or our uh, Differential Calculus book. So we are uh, just going to start with some basic definitions. We have E, which is a uh, fundamentally used constant all throughout mathematics, is exponential of 1, and E to the x is exponential of x. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just jump right in to take a look at the rules uh, for calculating derivatives of functions like this. Uh, the most important rule we're going to take a look at immediately, and this is something that a lot of people tend to screw up, is powers of uh, something raised to the x. We don't calculate derivatives uh, the same as we would using the power rule. So 2 to the x, the derivative of that does not equal x times 2 to the x minus 1, excuse me. And, uh, the derivative of e to the x does not equal x times e to the x minus 1. Now, uh, the derivative of e to the x, and this is just with a single x in the exponent, is e to the x, and then that would be time uh, multiplied by the derivative of that exponent. Uh, in this case, it's just 1, so we don't multiply that function by anything. Uh, but keep in mind, this is sort of like uh, using the chain rule almost. So uh, now we have a to the x. Uh, the derivative of that term is going to be uh, natural log of a. Natural log of a times a to the x times uh, the derivative of whatever is in this exponent. Again, that's uh, simply 1 in this case, um, but using the chain rule, you're going to have to figure uh, things like that out when we have something that's not just x uh, in the exponent here. Uh, we'll take a look at derivatives of the natural logarithm uh, in the next video, um, but know that uh, the natural logarithm is... It's just log base e, um, but the natural log of e is one. Um, they work hand in hand, and they're a lot cleaner a lot of times to work with than, say, a logarithm. Now, this would be easy to work with because we have log base e of e and just one, but uh, typically ln natural log is a lot easier to work with. Now, we're just going to go ahead and uh, immediately take a look at a couple of examples. So we have, we want the derivative of e to the 10x. Well, the derivative of e to the x, we noticed before, is just e to the x. But we have 10x in this case, so it's e to the 10x. Times uh, d over dx of 10x, and that's just going to be 10. So the total derivative of this is going to be 10e to the 10x. So we're going to do something similar with e to the x cubed. We're going to go ahead and just repeat. So we have e to the x cubed. Now we need uh, the derivative of x cubed. And uh, using the power rule, that's just 3x squared. So we have 3x squared e to the x cubed. Now, if we wanted to go ahead and calculate the second order derivative here, if we wanted to calculate um, what we would denote as d squared over dx squared, now we would need to use uh, the product rule because we have a term of x in front here and then another term of x in the exponent there. So I'm going to go ahead and calculate that second order derivative um, using the power rule, or excuse me, the product rule. Six x is the derivative of three x squared times e to the x cubed, and then we want 
3x squared times the derivative of e to the x cubed, which we know is 3x squared e to the x cubed. So we need to just square this term. And that's how you would calculate the second order derivative using the product rule in this case. Now uh, we have a function that isn't um, base e here. So we're going to go ahead and calculate uh, this using that natural logarithm calculation that we saw over here. So we have the natural log of a times a to the 5x times d over dx of 5x, which is just 5. So the derivative of this term is 5 ln of a times a to the, uh, a to the 5x. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at something just a little bit more complex than that, uh, the derivative of 18 to the 7x to the 4th. Now we don't need the product rule uh, in order to calculate anything up here because all we have is a 7x to the fourth. It's um, just the constant in front of this x to the fourth. In this case, we will need the product, uh, excuse me, the power rule in uh, linearity to calculate this. And we're going to find that this, the total derivative of uh, the derivative of 18 to the 7x to the fourth. It's just going to be 28x cubed times ln of 18 times 18 to the 7x to the fourth. And just again, the most important thing to remember uh, about taking derivatives of exponential functions is that when you do this, you cannot be using the uh, normal power rule because you have an x in the exponent. Thank you for watching. For more math videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here or for additional resources, including affordable digital textbooks, please visit centerofmath.org.